hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Thelma if you're new here you're welcome if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button if you enjoyed this video so guys today we're going to be creating this sunset cut crease type of look and if you want to see how I achieve this look please do keep on watching Hey guys welcome back i already drew my brows off camera so let's just go straight into the eye look because i know that's what you're here for i'm going to be using these two palettes um, the masquerade by juvia's place and house of tara eyeshadow palette in margaret epo this is where we're going to be getting our sunset colors from i'm going to be using juvia's place for my transition colors so first thing first, I'm going to prime my eyes using my LA Girl Pro Conceal Primer. Did I say primer? <laughs> Pro Conceal Concealer. Oh my god. In Warm Honey. This is going to give like my eyeshadow a very nice base and move all this darkness <laughs> around my eyes so that the colors would pop. Okay? Okay, so now that we've primed our eyes the next thing is to set that concealer with a powder i'm going to be using my milani pressed powder you can definitely use your setting powder but i don't know i just feel like using pressed powder today so we are starting with this when you are applying eyeshadow you want to start lightly and build up not just eyeshadow we make up generally you want to start lightly and build up you guys i'm placing this color exactly where i want to cut my crease because i want that area to be darker it gives it some kind of um, depth so I'm not going to be taking this up, I'm doing it around my crease. So now that I have that, I'm going to go in with my blending brush. You guys can see that there is no product on this brush. And I'm going to use it to blend these two colors together. I'm going to be using this brush, this flat brush to cut my crease and then I will use this eyeshadow primer from Classic. I'm going to be starting with the middle color which is the orange color. Orange first, then yellow, then red. case you're wondering i started with the orange color because that is what is going to marry the yellow and the red so that's why i started with it so when i put my yellow color i'm just going to you know blend the two together and then when i put my red on this other side i just blend the two together at the bridge where the both of them meet i just Put the light one over the darker one. The next thing I'm going to do is use my eyelash glue to line the place where I want to put the glitter. This is not going to be my glitter glue, but it's going to help the glitter that I put in that area stay there. I learned this trick from Lydia Stanley. Put your lash glue on the area where you want to put your glitter, especially in like, your crease area, because there's a lot of movement in that area, so your glitter might move. And to prevent your glitter from moving, use 
this now i'm just going to apply my glitter i already mixed it with my benign glitter glue so i'm just going to put it in the same area where i put the large glue okay so guys that's it i'm just going to do the same for the second eye and then i'll come back so that we can finish the look next step for me would be to prime my face and i'm going to be doing that with the early girl pro prep high definition smoothening face primer So next, I'm going to apply foundation on my face and I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in Coconut. That's 355. After that, I'll apply my concealer, Eddie Girl Pro Prep in Warm Honey. So I'm just going to let my concealer sit for some time because I get better coverage when I do that. So, if you've enjoyed this video so far, you have learned something. Don't lie to yourself. You have learned something. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And also let me know in the comment section what you have learned. Yeah, and if you got to this point, comment, consider. <laughs> So guys, I'm not going to be baking, so I'm going to use this brush to dust out my setting powder and I'm going to be using my compact powder as well to do that. So, I do this, cap off the excess and then dust off. going to be using this um, brown shade from the Juvia's Place palette to contour my face. Okay, so for highlighter, we're going to be using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. This is Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold. Okay, you guys see that I'm going to be mixing these two shades I'll use this um, neutral nude from classic what's the name To finish up the look, I'm going to set my face with the NYX Matte Finish Settings, Long Lasting Setting Spray. So guys, this is the finished look. Thank you for sticking with me up until this point. I'll see you guys in another video. I hope you learned something from this. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribe Mwah. bye